this week three of the NFL. And we've got the Dolphins, speedy running back. He's coming off a nice showing last week, racked up a lot of yards, and reached the end zone once. It's the Dolphins and the Browns on Thursday night primetime. We are within shouting distance of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as we get set for football on the lakeside here at Cleveland Brown Stadium. Tonight, we kick off week three with a great Thursday night matchup as it will be the Miami Dolphins taking on the Cleveland Browns. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Browns ball club. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Dolphins, it's been a great start to the season, back-to-back -back wins to begin the campaign. Yeah, you don't want to get too excited. There's still a lot of season to go, but they've come out playing good fundamental football, and that might carry them a long way. The final weekend of the summer. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you are as we are off and running on EA Sports. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. So here come the Browns for their first drive on offense. As we get a peek at their dynamic signal caller hailing from Mississippi State, it's Dak Prescott. That was a solid performance last week, wasn't it? Two touchdowns, no interceptions, ran the team well, won the ball game. Bottom line, may not have been earth-shattering, but it didn't need to be. Play one, and Prescott to the air. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. And here are the key inactives for them in this one, and obviously, Charles, are going to be without some important names this week. Well, hopefully those guys will be on the sidelines encouraging the guys who are going out there and helping them when they come off the sidelines during the game by giving them some tips on what they see and what they've experienced. That's true teamwork. And if you want to get to the playoffs, if you want to have a big push, you have to have that on your squad. A game there of 21 yards. That was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. Looking for a seam but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage and that's him. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Here's Prescott. That's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 35. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 35-yard line. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And there they bring pressure from the inside, and they get home. Yeah, hard to block everyone, isn't it? And on this play, <laughs> someone did not get blocked. He's the one who got home. Throwing on second and long, Prescott. And that's off the mark, incomplete. You talk about this Miami defense. They were terrific last week in the win over Denver. And the big thing for them was the interceptions. And you hear teams all the time talk about establishing themselves against the pass. You know, no fly zones and things of that <laughs> nature. This group had a bunch of them in last week's game. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Got him in. It's Brown. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Thursday night games, sometimes you get those quick turnarounds. You wonder how a team is going to start. They started really well. Everyone's always wondering, going into a Thursday night game, who has their legs, who has a, you know, the overall health of the team. But mentally, if you get that early edge, the other team might think to itself, ah, oh, it's been a short week. We're not really ready to go. 
you might run them into the ground that way. That's why getting that early score means a lot. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. And leading the charge, their lefty QB. And he's had good success here already this season throwing the football. Six touchdown passes in his two games. He's really got this offense playing with a lot of confidence, trying to establish themselves early as a Super Bowl contender. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That one complete. It's tanked down. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back-to-back. -back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yards. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. These are his numbers from last week's contest. And Charles, how do you think he ran the football? I thought he definitely had his moments. I did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better, and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him to see how they're going to use him this week. We go, Second we and seven. for 19 at a first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. So, a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now. Down at the 33. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And a short game down to about the 33. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Here we go, set. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. 22 yards there. A first down. Looking to throw. And that's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And when the time has expired on the first quarter. After one, 7 0 on EA Sports. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter. As they've got it with a second and ten. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he'll take this one inside the ten down to the eight. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Escaping the pressure right. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. A great effort there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Dolphins are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Cameron Dicker for the a nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. 
Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. And they come off a victory over the weekend, but now the quick turnaround here for this Thursday night game. How does that affect how teams like this approach these short turnarounds? Well, wins and losses always factor into, you know, how you're getting ready for the next game. But I think it's important when you have the short turnaround. What is your injury situation? Are you losing key guys? And if so, how well have the backups prepared for this? Because you don't have much time to get them ready. They have to be ready before this week in order to play well in this game. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Two minutes gone by second quarter. On third down, it's Prescott. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Logan Hall fighting through and dropping him for the sack. And, of course, that's not an easy man to sack. You know how elusive he can be trying to get outside of the pocket. That was a great play on the defensive side. Now, I wonder what was going through his mind because he didn't seem as committed to using his legs to pick up yardage. He wanted to keep that play alive to either take off and go or throw it away. But he held out to the football and ended up getting sacked. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be Dolphin football. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And a short pickup to about the 25. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Here's A.J. Cole now to punt this one away. It's taken to the 26. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And the Browns will take over first and 10. And the football going back over now to the Cleveland Browns. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 23 yards to pick up there. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Prescott. That was almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. They'll throw again. Prescott. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions on first and second down, now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Prescott now. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. How about 25 yards on third down? They'll take it. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 
Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Looking to throw. Prescott. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Dolphins are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. CD, when he went to throw that, I'm not sure if he just didn't see where the defense was or whatever the case, not the throw you're looking for on first and goal. Not at all because, look, let's face it, that close to the goal line, if you throw an intercept, is going to hurt on any down. But really the only down you can kind of live with is if you do it on fourth down. The first three, if you don't have it wide open, just get rid of it. Make sure they can't get it and live to fight another down. First and goal and you throw the pick, not good at all. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. They'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And the defense loses him. It's complete. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. They'll look to throw again. Twenty! And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. Just left to the upright. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. Boy, Brandon, a missed opportunity there at the end of this first half. You'd love to give your guys a lead going into the break, but this effort doesn't find the mark, and that's going to keep things all square. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven our score. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to our Tiburon Studios here in Orlando. We'll take a minute and look ahead at what's to come this weekend in week number three. In that 1 o'clock time frame, a lot to choose from. But let's highlight the game in Philadelphia, a big one for the Eagles, as they'll square off against the New York Jets. Then later... They'll let the sun die down a bit in Tampa. A late start here in Florida, where it'll be the Buccaneers taking on the New England Patriots. And lastly, we'll wrap up the week with Monday Night Football. Definitely one to tune in for, as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Green Bay Packers. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Final adjustments being made in the locker room. We're just about set for the second half from Cleveland. And to bring it your way, we go back up to Brandon and Charles. OK, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles. So as we start the third quarter, Ready, curious yeah. to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one. And we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the Pee Wee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. 
It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. But well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Six yards, the pickup, and that's a first down. Here's a handoff out of the gun. Uh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. On second down, they'll run it here. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. Okay, second and one, you get nothing. What now on third and one? Sorry about that. I was so excited I jumped in on you. This is almost like practice to me. Line it up and do it again. You didn't get it right the first time. Just get right back on the ball and go. It doesn't matter that they know you're coming. You ought to be able to pick up this short yardage. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. Down to the 10. They're all the way in for the Miami touchdown. A great play there. His second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where he felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. Extra point try now from Dicker. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. A drive that time of six plays. And a long run there in the end to top it off. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Here's the Browns now. They get set for their first possession of the third quarter. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense, plenty of time to get back in this game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. A great job defensively taking away his receivers, and he was forced to put that one into Lake Erie, but that's what good quarterbacks do. They don't take unnecessary chances if they don't have to. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Prescott off play action. Incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Prescott. The Dolphins get there this time and they bring him down. Sacked there by Jadevian Clowney. Tell you what, he did not have much time there to skim the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly? Meaning yeah. the guys in front of them had almost no chance to block them. They were on him in a hurry. So possession goes over here on the punt. And they will take over first and ten. The Dolphins offense now heads back on the field. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? 
That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action. Now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But, you know, there was a big-time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. He would have kissed it on the ground. <laughs> from the gun he'll hand this off and he'll be brought down at the 45 yard line 40 yards rushing for him now and he's only carried the ball four times back to back good plays have him on the move on first down now a handoff running through the middle trying to run inside but nothing there Nick Bolton there on the tackle Defensively, we always know that he is tough at run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. Well, I guess sometimes it's a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, Fool him a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool him on that play. That is caught. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense. And he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back. And you end up getting the first down. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. They're just going to run a drive route here with their tight end. Let him get upfield about 10 yards and then move toward the middle of the field. This ball's right on target and it results in a first down. And we're back now here in Cleveland. It's Dolphin football. It's also Dolphin lead to begin quarter number four. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Hands it off out of the gun. And he's able to get this inside the 10 now to the 9. A solid run on first down. Gain of 7 leaves him with a second and 3. Brings up second and 3. Here's a give up the middle. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Out of the gun now on third down. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. So that's CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal to start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. Cleveland offense making their way out. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. A good start there on first down. They've got to have this drive. No doubt about it. Down a couple of scores. They have to find a way to put it in the end zone. Chunk plays, explosive plays. That will be the key to this drive. Play fake. Here's Prescott. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Fortunate to get that football back. His trailing here in the second half. Last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. So danger averted for the moment, but now here's a third and long. Now Prescott. 
taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Browns unable to move the chains on fourth down. And how about this for a setup? The ball will go over on downs at the one-yard line. So still over three minutes remaining in this game, but boy, not getting that when that hurt. That's a little bit demoralizing, so they have to be careful about that because still have an opportunity if they can get some. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. A great effort there. His third touchdown of the game and fourth on the year. And the Dolphins are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. Dicker now to tack on the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Ready to take over again on offense. Out comes Cleveland. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. That one let go deep for Laporta. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. Third and long for Prescott. An injury stoppage here, and oh, you hope this is nothing serious. That's Dak Prescott who is shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. And here's Ryan right now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. And taken at the 46. A seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And the Dolphins will begin this drive in great field position, first and 10. So now the Dolphins set to take over on offense. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and 10. Come on, come on. Hey. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I can be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. 92 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll try and run this one right up the gut. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second and ten at the Browns' 35-yard line. From the gun, they'll try to run it. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Now back to throw. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 18 big yards on that one, and a Miami first. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Now a handoff running through the middle. 
And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They get ten more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And, you know, it wasn't a shutout. They did give up the points in the first quarter, but second, third, and fourth quarter, they held them.